Good day everyone, how's it going and welcome to Bing's Gaming Corner. And oh boy do I have a doozy for you today. It's my spoiler free, straight to the point Starfield review. If you're keen to play this game, stick around, let's get into it. Alright, so I got early access to the game, I'll upload my Let's Play shortly, but I just wanted to get my initial oppression out there as soon as possible. And my god, Todd, Pete, all you guys and girls over there at Bethesda, Massive round of applause. Mmm, chef's kiss. This game is sensational. A true masterpiece. This is the hit we have been waiting for since Skyrim. People will be playing this game for a decade, and you have to get it early and start playing it or else you're going to get left behind. Missions. Okay, so without giving too much away, the writing in Starfield is incredible. If you've watched Lost, it's kind of reminding me of that. There's a lot of philosophical references in this game. You have your character, a simple man or woman, trying to unravel the tapestry of mystery that is the universe. Yes, the game is that broad in scope. It's ambitious. This is the most comprehensive and well-written, polished Bethesda RPG, and the most compelling narrative I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing in a video game. I have looked into the heart of this galaxy, and what I saw was beautiful. Side missions are unique, creative, and will keep you guessing. Sensational. Gameplay. If you liked Fallout 4, the gameplay in Starfield is a lot like that. I happened to really enjoy Fallout 4. Uh, sorry for all you guys up there that got filtered, but it was an amazing game. So I was right at home here. The combat is the most seamless and smooth it has ever felt in a Bethesda game. Shooting feels tight. The abilities complement the gameplay well without ever feeling game-breaking. The guns look good and feel great to use. There's a variety of playstyles you can choose to suit your preferences, whether you're a stealth player, melee, unarmed, and there's even passive options presented to the player if that's your preferred style of play. More about these abilities will be uncovered as you get into the game, but think the Dovahkin from Skyrim, I'll just leave it at that. I particularly enjoyed a gameplay loop of identifying dinosaur-type alien species and then expunging them from existence. I took great delight in using my cowboy repeater to drive full metal jacket rounds through their thick, dumb domes. Don't call me a monster, I'm just going for a realist experience playthrough. Plus, I don't want those sharp-toothed cretins from evolving any further. Graphics. The graphics, my god. The hair of your character moves around as you walk. Okay, sorry guys, a little nerdgasm there, but it's safe to say Bethesda games are not overly renowned for their graphical prowess, but Starfield will not disappoint you. The art style is familiar without feeling cliched and gives Starfield its own character. Things look polished, and is without doubt the best looking Bethesda game ever made. Do yourself a favour and stand on the porch of your first outpost, and look out at the sun as it sets below the alien landscape, and tell me you don't feel something warm and fuzzy in that shriveled, blackened heart of yours. The Music as always, Einon Zer delivers another classic soundtrack to this game for whatever situation you are experiencing. Mysterious brooding tones when exploring a dark cave. To more upbeat synthetic tracks when you're zipping through the galaxy in your space skipper. The man is a genius, nothing more needs to be said here. Early Critics Starfield has scored an 87 on Xbox Series X at the time of recording this video. Not quite Skyrim levels, more around the level of Fallout 4. It has secured several 100 scores, along with 5 mixed reviews. 
The critics who posted the mixed reviews cite reasons such as limited space travel, cluttered inventory management, uninteresting gameplay, and a general malaise when starting the game and also completing the story missions. Uh, that's the main story missions. Okay, I get it. It's cool to hate on Bethesda now. It's what the kids are doing. It's hip. But I tell you, if Starfield were a Sony exclusive, it would print 90 or 100 plus scores. There wouldn't be anything below that. But guess what? Bethesda took risks. And risks sometimes lead to polarizing critiques. At least they had the nuts to do it. But to give the game a 7 out of 10 or even a, a 5.7, I think one of them was, I simply disagree with that. There is no way this game deserves a review that low. Hey, Tendies and Snoys, maybe go back to playing kids games like Tears of the Kingdom and cuddle your little Link blankets at night and leave Starfield to the adults. We'll go on a fantastic journey of wonder and discovery and you can suck your thumbs while struggling to solve shrine puzzles. My final thoughts. Okay, drumroll please. Da -da 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 -dun. I'm giving this game a 9.5 out of 10. I haven't finished it yet, so it could climb further towards that magical 10, maybe with a bit of DLC. Uh, that number will increase as well. A masterpiece, nothing short of that. Okay, so that's my spoiler-free Starfield review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like my video. Starfield gameplay will be coming soon but there is other content on my channel that you can watch and enjoy. Until next time, guys, keep it greasy. Bing out.